Hey, welcome back to She's in Her Apron. It's the day before Thanksgiving. Okay, here you see I started to label my pans so I know what I'm using. This one's for our sweet potatoes. This one's for our green bean casserole. I'm, I'm doing the mashed potatoes in this big pot. I'm doing the stuffing in this big pan. The deviled eggs, two pumpkin pies, the shrimp dip. Oh, I almost forgot my jello bowl. My oven is preheating and it's all clean. <laughs> you want to see how I clean that? Sure. Click right here. So what I'm working on is just making the pumpkin pie. So yeah, let's get going so I can get these in the oven. I went to check on the pies and they spilled in my clean oven. <gasps> this is not happening. Let's try this again. Mmm, the pumpkin pies are all done. Oh, I really want to dig into it now, but no, we will have patience. Well, I got the shrimp dip all made. Now I'm just going to cover it up, put it in the fridge, because it's going to taste so much better the next day. So. That is done. Yay. That's an appetizer. So good. Oh, yeah. If you want the recipe for this, click right here and it's all yours. Okay, the next thing I'm going to work on is the jello so I can get it set up for tomorrow. So I'm going to get going on that. You want jello? Right now. <laughs> and pumpkin pie. No, I mean apple pie. <laughs> Okay, I got the jello all done. I'm just gonna wrap it up, get it in the fridge um, downstairs so we can set up and we'll have that tomorrow. And then I'll just put the topping on. Usually I do like a pretzel salad, but this year I'm taking it super chill and we're just doing plain old jello. We're a big jello family. I'm just gonna put like a cool whip topping on top, so. Okay, next I'm gonna make the green bean casserole. Oh, we love green bean casserole. So I make it tonight because I like how it sits up. Okay, my casserole is ready to go in the oven. I'm not going to add the remaining fried onions on top until tomorrow when I reheat it. Um, that way they could cook and get crunchy and not soggy. Going in the oven. Mm -hmm. It's all done. So it'll set up nicely and get nice and thick. Because I, I just don't like it runny. You know, we, we'd love it the next day. So, ooh, yum. Kids are watching a movie, it's so cute. Okay, so now I just sliced up some sweet potatoes and um, I put a little bit of water at the bottom of the pan, sliced them up, sprinkled some cinnamon. I usually do brown sugar too, and but I wanted to cut the sugar a little bit so I didn't put any of the brown sugar this time. And half of this I will do marshmallows tomorrow for the kids and the other half not, uh, so Derek can have it. So I'm gonna cook this now, that way tomorrow I could just heat it through. Okay, um, that other tip that I had for you was peel and cut up your potatoes, wash them, peel them, cut them, and put them in the pot of water you're gonna boil them in. 
put a cover on them and stick them in your refrigerator if you have room. I have a second refrigerator downstairs in the laundry room, so that's so helpful. So they're not going to brown, and so then tomorrow I could just take this, put it on the stove, add some salt, and boil them. So that is all done. One last thing I have to do on Thanksgiving. Mmm. <laughs> Look how good that looks! So tomorrow, all I have to do is just warm them up and put the marshmallows on one side, brown up the marshmallows, and it's done. done cooking and so what I'm going to focus on right now is cleaning up the sink get everything in the dishwasher and run that not bad so I would love I really want to get my tablescape up I would love to set the table tonight but um, I don't trust my little ones they're gonna be like especially Boston and Shaylee they'll touch all the plates and everything before dinner and I'm just worried about them like breaking it and destroying it so um I will do that tomorrow I have I've got I have got good timing like really I have taken a lot of the pressure away for tomorrow and so it's really it's gonna be pretty simple tomorrow 